Hi folks, my name is Tatiana. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Ethereal Entertainer. Today we're going to be getting into all astrological signs, sun, moon, and rising placements, your tarot cards for the month of November of 2022. We're going to get into what is in store for November. That's the overall question that I've asked. What message the universe has for all of us for your sun, moon, and rising placements. So do keep in mind that we do have different placements. So if you have a Aquarius sun and a Leo moon and a Sagittarius rising, please feel free to shuffle through my videos to get your own personalized three card spread so that you can get the most out of this reading. And feel free to ask me any questions down below in the comments about what your cards mean or maybe what they mean in juxtaposition to each other because the cards do mean different things when they are next to other cards. So yeah, let's talk tarot. Let's let's talk uh, metaphysical. Let's talk spiritual. Whatever you want to call it. I like to just say let's talk tarot. But so we are going to be featuring this beautiful, lovely amethyst geode to just bring some intuitive, uh, calming energies to help with my reading. I do like to have crystals around. I also like to, of course, sage my deck before I use it to ensure that I'm ridding of it any is residual energies that may be from any past readings, but this geode is so gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> And I am also featuring some bracelets made by yours truly. I have an evil eye on the first bracelet and then this bracelet here is a matte crackle quartz, which is also a very protective stone known for bringing balance to our yin and yang energies. You can find this on my Etsy shop really soon, so stay on the lookout for that. They are elastic, stretchy, so um, yeah, t take a look at those when you get a chance. Check out my Etsy shop. and. Let's get into it. All right, Gemini, let's get into your cards for your first placement in the sun. We have the eight of wands. So this is a card that signifies momentum. Things are starting to move and change and it's happening pretty quickly. And this is a good thing. So this is saying that things are manifesting. You may have been dealing with a recent uh, stagnation of some sort or blockage and it's recently been removed or is soon to be removed and you're going to find yourself hitting the ground running with things. Take advantage and use that energy, use that momentum to manifest the things that you desire because it definitely is looking like things are going to be in your favor. Love that for you. That's really cool. So we're going to move on to the moon placement of Gemini this is the ace of wands so the ace of wands is in the reverse position at this point so this essentially means that what the ace of wands represents which is like inspiration opportunities potential that there's a blockage of some sort and uh, maybe there is you know lack of direction maybe you have some ideas maybe you have some some goals some things that you want to bring into fruition but you don't really quite know how maybe you have no idea where to begin or you have so many things going on that it's kind of hard for you to find your focus and the ace of wands in reverse is saying that you know it's time for you to take a look and you know maybe sit and really focus figure out what you really want what it is that you're really trying to manifest and you know pick a direction find where it is that you want to go and then head that way you know your thoughts might be a little everywhere a little scattered and the ace of wands in reverse is reminding you that it's best for you to move forward when you have a point of trajectory when you know where you're going <clears throat> excuse me so maybe it's not necessarily that you have a lot of ideas or maybe it's just it seems you can't focus at all or maybe you have some ideas and you have some things that you're focusing on and 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 
you're really excited about it, but it, there's some delays that are happening that are kind of slowing things down and it's maybe causing a little bit of frustration. You know, heed to those delays. You know, don't try to fight them and be frustrated and anxious about it. Go with the flow. Allow for those things to come and then pass so that you can do what it is what you need to do and get to that eight of wands energy we have in the sun position because you know this is part of that transition that process moving from one stage to another so be patient be patient with your circumstances be patient with yourself and if you really need to buckle down and take the time to think about where you want to go what you want to do how you want to do it be honest with yourself sit and meditate on it you know journal about it sleep on it and then you know come to your situation with fresh eyes and a fresh perspective and if that's not the case and it's more so other things are delaying you and you're maybe dealing with frustration or anxiety about it just keep that in mind that everything happens for a reason and that those delays are because there may be some sort of growth or some sort of contemplation or just some things that are happening behind the scenes you're not aware of that need to happen before this card can be flipped into the upright position again. So now we're going to move on to your rising placement, Gemini. We have the judgment card. So this is a pretty self-explanatory card, actually. Judgment is, is legitimately about judgment. <laughs> so the thing is, is that when we see this card, it's not necessarily about like, oh, these people are judging me and, um, you know, I'm, you know, on the ringer or I'm, I'm being, you know, hung out to dry. That's not this kind of card. So this kind of card is really more so about judging yourself and judging your circumstances and using that to course correct or to find your direction so you know sometimes we have to sit and look at our circumstances and be like yeah this is not really quite what i'm looking for quite what i want to do or you know what i'm headed in a new direction and i like it and i think i want to you know really just go for it this judgment card is saying that you are at that pivotal moment in your life where you or maybe not now but in the near future you're coming up on that pivotal moment in your life where you're looking at things from a different perspective or a fresh perspective and you're just like yeah i i want to do this this is what i want to do this is what i want to have this is who i want to be and maybe this is about a self love journey this is about a career journey this is about family um this can apply to any of all of the above, so to speak. So do take the time to just sit and figure out, you know, what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to have, what do you want to achieve? And you be the judge of what is going to make you happy in your life. And know that when you make that decision, when you are ready to move forward, that you will find that the universe essentially just opens up to you. And it's just like, okay, yeah, cool. We got it. We're going to help you out. That's what the judgment card is really about. It's about, okay, I see the decision you've made. I see what you have decided for yourself. Now I'm going to help bring that into fruition for you. So... This is a good card. This is actually a really good card. I like it a lot. So, you know, do lean into that and be willing to, to say, this is, this is what I want. This is me moving into what I feel is for my highest good, what is for my happiness. So, yeah, this is, this is really cool. <laughs> so... Thank you so much for listening and for watching. I hope that you found this reading to be very insightful. Again, I do want to remind you that you can shuffle through my videos and find your sun, moon, and rising 
card placements to get your own personalized three card spread for the month of November. Feel free to comment, reach out and let me know if you have any questions or, you know, just, hey, I really like this video or, you know, I would like some explanation about something. I'm more than happy to chat and talk with y'all. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back really soon for December and on and on and on. And I hope November's really good to you. Bye.